Hi, welcome to session five on directed graphical models. We will talk a little bit of inference. This is um, rather quick because it is mostly the same thing as we have been doing before in all other previous sessions. And we're interested in um, trying to do some inference on hidden states, for instance, on some hidden nodes given my visible nodes and my my data. So these hidden nodes may be information that I don't have right now, like in our HMA or the medical disease uh, example that we were talking before. And the whole idea of this is how I go from this into my, my, my given graph. So I just can go to the, the joint here and model through the, the, the visible information. And I'm just kind of changing the shape, right? So this is the definition of conditional probability over here. And this is basically just the joint over here of uh, hidden and visible nodes given theta over, and this, uh, this probability here of, of the visibles is nothing else but the marginalization of all the hidden states, right? I can just take my xh prime and do this joint on xh prime xb uh, given theta and do the summation over there and it is the the, 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 the same thing, right? So now my, my question is how can I go from this particular uh, visible data into that hidden one? So uh, we can actually do both things. We can uh, learn the structure like these, how these visible and hidden nodes are related to each other. And we can also learn the parameters, okay? So for the structure learning part, we will leave that for uh, as a more complex and advanced topic that we won't touch in this session. Um, but it is in the book, I think. Uh, so you can just go on and, and read it out if you want to go out, know how, how, how it works. Um, and for the parameters, so like we can do some learning in there, right? So. And so learning. And that learning happens by simply taking the argmax of some of the distributions. And depending what distribution do we take, we obtain a different one, right? So um, the mo most complex one is taking a, a map, a maxima posteriori. And what we do, as always, is taking the logarithm of that distribution. So we do the logarithm on the P of xib. So it is the i, th um, sorry, uh, the summation, right? The summation i, put one up to n, of the probability of xib. So it is the i uh, visible data point given the, the parameters that we have, or sorry, that we want to find, right? Plus the logarithm of my prior over here. And this is our, our all handy uh, maximum posteriori um, distribution. So once we have the graph, we can have this particular uh, shape and you solve it. And if we assume some uninformative prior, for instance, a uniform uh, P of theta, so if P of theta, it is uh, uniform, then this becomes a maximum likelihood estimator, right? Because this doesn't matter and these, the, my, my uh, data is the only thing that I have. So uh, this is like a, a really simple, simple idea, right? So. This would make sense from, from the next uh, example, right? Like, so stay tuned.